So here's a little video of my truck. It's uh, torn apart right now. I just installed the Summit front bumper. Here there. And of course, I don't have the right plugs. Um, for whatever reason, the, you know, your, your lights come with the, this would be the male. And into the receiver goes female. Well, the, the adapter for the Summit doesn't have, you can't see the Summit over here. <clears throat> the adapter for the Summit, I don't know where the piece I clipped off. Eh, this is what they expect you to put mail into your receiver box. Sorry. There. So I can't I can't do that. It just doesn't work. So I clipped off the rear where is it? One of these wires. This wire here was the rear light plug, the JST plug. So I clipped that off and uh I'm replacing it with some some shack butt connectors, insulated butt connectors, and uh, that way I can still disconnect the rear lights if need be. And uh, hardwire, one of these, I can't see it here. I soldered them, soldered them together. So now we got this is my T connection. This will be for the receiver. This one runs out for the front lights, and this one here is going to run to the rear. And then when I get the rears, I will uh, cut them and attach these to it so I can run that. I'm just getting ready to solder up this last joint here, last two joints. I figured, figured I'd make a video of it again. What the hell, right? See how good I am at soldering and videoing with one hand. So what I was doing wrong before, I guess, when I was soldering was heating up the tip and putting the solder on the tip, which I guess is wrong. You heat up the joint and then put the solder in the joint. I don't even know if my gun's hot yet. Tip's hot. Yeah, it is. So yeah, some of the lights are cool. While I'm heating that up, I'll show you. I built an aluminum bracket. I was checking out the Emacs forum, and a guy had an aluminum bracket in my I had to make a little notch in there. I don't know if you can see the top of that bracket it has a notch taken out of it. Oh, she's getting hot. Video and solder all at once. Probably should have a fan on. It's recommended. You don't want to breathe the, the flux. Because it's known to the state of California to cause cancer. But then again, breathing in California causes cancer. So I guess you really take your own risks. For me, I'll just take a few good blows every once in a while. Blow the smoke away. Can't be anywhere someone I breathe at work. But uh but yeah, my rear bumper should be in soon. They weren't here yet. I was thinking about stealing Dre's for now and then I was like, nah. I don't know, didn't feel like it. Be a nice guy, leave his truck alone. It's bad enough I already took his T connector off to make sure that it was a T connector I needed. So I gotta plug that in. Not a big deal, just a plug. So there we go. Two soldered, no, 
forget I'm holding a camera on one hand. So I was holding the camera on the solder and soldering. Pretty, I'm talented, yay. So there we go. That's cool. Could probably use a little bit more solder on this one. All right. Solder back around the ring finger. Phone in hand. Let's see if I can do this again. Where are we videoing? There we are. Yeah, just barely, but hey. You get the idea, right? There we go. Sweet guy. Rag still wet? Cool. I'm going to set you down for a second. It'll wipe off my tip. That's what she said. Cool. Tips clean. I just heat shrink those when they're done. And I'll have lights for my truck. I was also thinking to, uh, I took the, uh, my fan out. I was thinking about adding another, um, joint in here somewhere and running, like for now, possibly just running off of here and then powering my fan, which right now is run on a, a nine volt but why run a nine volt when I can plug into the truck supply power supply so we'll see I don't know yet what I'm gonna do this opens up all kinds of new possibilities I've got my Chevy body here which has four forward lights and two rear lights and I was thinking I could take and basically fuse all these lines together and run them onto here we we'll just add some plugs onto this too right you know, have this body have extra lights so if I was running at night and really, and really wanted light I could do that but I don't know I like the summit bumper it's rugged it looks good let me get this soldering iron out of here It's hot. Be careful. Oh, yeah, it's hot. Uh, bad roll mount cigarettes. What do you think? It's cheap. Cheaper. Cheaper than uh, buying. Damn. Butts are expensive nowadays. So there you go. Here's my... My workbench is a mess. It went from being completely clean to splat. <laughs> Messy. This body looks kick ass with that bumper. I guess you really can't see it. And if the Summit headlights were just a hair, were out just a hair. in for those natural headlights pretty good but that's it also too when I was at the shack I saw they have these little little tiny fans and they're, they're about the size of the solder which uh, for reference is I don't know damn it's about the size of the top of a beer can how's that about that big around I was thinking that would be a great fan for right here. Um, not so bulky as the big old, big old one I got, and uh, can make up a little, little aluminum, a little aluminum frame for it. And then that way I'm getting rid of the big bulky steel one that I've got. And you know, we'll see. I don't know. But cool. So that's my, it's my update. I got lights now without paying for 9 volt batteries or in the other case my uh, rechargeable 9.6 but those are heavy an extra set of batteries on the truck is no fun but uh, 
that's it. And we'll get some uh, running videos here shortly. Later.